it was like a meeting of, uh, the, of like uh, the Masons. The Masons and Skull and Bones all combined. Shit was going down. <laughs> What, what additives are we going to put into all the restaurants to control people? <laughs> that's, a, that's like a Michael Crichton, if he were still alive, he would like, what would we call? Soup to something. Soup to shore or something. So, um, so like I said earlier, I used to work, I, I think, you know what? I, I tend to not trust somebody if they never worked in the service industry. If you never worked as a waiter or a bartender, like, I'm generalizing because I worked in it, but but I learned so much and I and I got so many songs from uh, working, especially at Border Grill, and uh, it was such an amazing time. And, and uh, one song in particular, I wrote about this. Uh, remember when you were like you saw somebody you liked and. And they were dating somebody, and so you couldn't date, and then you broke up, and they were dating somebody. Well, that happened to me, and then, then we ended up getting together, but she was still dating somebody. <laughs> and uh, we got in this amazing knockdown dragon, uh, knockdown uh, fight at the Sunset Marquee in uh, Los Angeles. And you, actually, I'll tell you who the guy is. It's Colin Irving of uh, Cider House Rules, World According to his son, and I tangled. <laughs> I wrote this song about this girl, it's about unrequited love, it was on the first Better Than Ezra album, and it's called Porcelain.